It's Tuesday, April 16th. And once again, you got Goose, you got Coach, and you're inside the core. Goose, what's up, dude? Hey, Coach. How's it going, man? It is going excellent, man. It's been a been a, been a really good week and, uh, you know, just excited about talking about more Zell today. Absolutely. We've got lots of good information to share. We've had several internal meetings with the team, with the marketing team, with the developers, and there's lots of information to share. And the first thing I'd like to start with is for coin developers out there who may be interested in having their coin listed on Zellcore. If you'd like your coin to be added to the Zellcore wallet, get in touch with us at our Twitter page, which is at Zell underscore core, and just at team in your message. Direct that message right to us, and this way we'll be sure to get back to you about your inquiry to add your coin to Zell. Well, you know, speaking of Twitter accounts, man, uh, I saw saw an awesome tweet uh, from from the Zell account, the main Zell account. Uh, I saw that we were closing in um, on on six hundred nodes, uh, so that's that's pretty exciting, right? Oh, dude, we're at exactly five hundred ninety five right now, and that's with only three outdated Zell nodes. I don't know whoever the whoever the three are out there that have not yet updated your nodes. You got to get on that because. In the next month or so, we're going to see a massive upgrade to the Zell network, and it's very possible that your nodes will not receive rewards. So, for the last remaining three, <laughs> this is your call to go ahead and get things updated. But yes, we're we're very quickly approaching that 600 count. Got a really positive message in our Discord, and this was actually directed towards Miles, our lead developer, in the Ask Miles channel, and it was from somebody who was pretty much praising the fact that we have made it so easy to get nodes up and running thanks to the videos, thanks to the scripting and the information that's available via Parker and the wiki pages and what have you. So a special shout out to everyone who has contributed, especially our community members, to getting other people up and running and taking advantage of running a node on really one of the fastest growing secure computational networks that are, are really going to change the way we use crypto as we move forward. We're going to have we're going to see more features being added to the nodes and the role that they'll play in powering dApps for our Zell developer platform. And, and uh, you know, speaking so much about nodes is obviously very exciting time just with all the developments that's kind of coming across the table here with Zell and our hash rate has been out the roof from the mining aspect. Um, we, we recently published an article about kind of how those two intertwine, you know, how proof of work and our, our Zell no network, um, you know, kind of support each other. So could you talk a little bit about that? Well, I think it, the article itself has, has it, it really says it best. So I'll just go ahead and read some excerpts from the article. Parker is so good about putting these things uh, in a way that we can appreciate them. And he does so uh, periodically using Medium. So I'll go ahead and link this Medium article below so that people can take a look at it themselves. But what we have here is an added security feature. And it's kind of passive. Zell nodes passively help protect the Zell network. And this is right from the article. The Zell network now has two consensus mechanisms on chain, the proof of work mining aspect and the Zell nodes voting aspect. So proof of work secures the chain in a traditional way, solving hash functions to receive a reward for processing Zell transactions. Zell nodes also form consensus for which nodes will be paid after each block by the proof of work mechanism. So Zell nodes consensus occurs based on the nodes themselves voting for the next payout receiver for each found block. Now, voting occurs a few blocks ahead of a scheduled payout. Consensus is formed on which Zell nodes will receive payment, and these results are propagated on a network to be included in the scheduled block for Zell node payout when it's found by the miners. So now to submit a successful block hash and receive the block reward, the correct voting outputs must also be supplied at the same time. So if these two checks, if you will, don't match, then that block would be rejected. That's absolutely correct. And obviously having these two consensus methods 
gives us tremendous protection. Uh, you know, we talked about on the last couple of podcasts, uh, the, the 51% of tax, um, you know, so you can't control the network hash. And if you do get control of the network hash, now all of a sudden you got this, this net, Zelno network that you get, that you got to make sure that you're, uh, you know, in agreement with those block winners. So, uh, man, that, that, that's, that's awesome. Awesome use case, obviously, and, uh, integration to protect, uh, our network. More importantly, and this is really kind of the bottom line here, two separate forms of consensus means that a would be attacker needs 51% or more control of the network hash while also knowing each Zell tier winner. So there's three Zell tiers. They would have to know the winner of each of those tiers for a BAMF, a super or a basic node that was the winner. So could you imagine right. like, so we, we not only have, they'd have to pay for whatever, you know, uh, hashing power they would need to get over 51% of the network in terms of mining. And then on the other side of it, they'd have to, they'd have to bet the trifecta. Okay. They'd have to win place or show <laughs> to really know. I mean, we've, we, we have definitely, and this is kind of one of those things that happened. I won't say by accident. I mean, it's definitely part of the plan here, but it is actually a, a very elegant second layer solution for securing the network. Well, that's, I mean, that's beautiful and, and probably a, a decent little segue to our listeners. Uh, just want to remind you, all right, we're doing everything we can to secure the network. Um, and you also need to do everything that you can to make sure that you always secure your wallet, secure your password, make sure you utilize the decentralized two, uh, two-way factor authentication. Um, and that's important. So just a simple reminder to you guys kind of as we're talking about this. Any Zelle holder out there that has not set up their Zelle ID, I would encourage you to do so because that is one added layer of protection for your assets. Whatever assets that you may be storing in Zelle Core, for instance, set it up with two-factor authentication. It takes fractions of one Zelle to do that, and you can pick your own PIN. That PIN is obscured and turned into a hash and placed on the blockchain forever. And it, it is one, nobody knows what that pin is except for you. Whatever you create, it's not stored on a central server. It's not stored in such a way that anybody else could ever access it. Only you know the pin. So I would highly encourage anybody, get out there, click on the Zelle apps button in your Zelle core wallet, and then go ahead and set up your Zelle ID. It's, it's really simple and it works great. It's just, you, you got to do that. In this day and age, it's, it's a necessary thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, um, you know, kind of transitioning here, we got some pretty exciting news. We kind of got a new market that's really been interested in, in Zelle here. And uh, kind of with that, we've had a couple of new exchange listings here. Uh, I, I'll go ahead and mention the, the three and kind of get your input on it. But uh, Citex, BitMesh, and BKEX. Uh, three exchanges that all have uh, recently listed Zelle. So uh, that's pretty exciting. What, what's your thoughts on that? I think it's great. You know, I'm very excited that we have emerging markets or could very well have be um, established markets that are interested in Zelle. One thing that I think is important for us to mention is that there will be many more of these exchanges that come from around the world. And I think it's a beautiful thing that everybody is interested in this project and what we have to offer and where we are headed with all of the future development on the platform. And all of this is getting attention because they are seeing active development. They are seeing results on behalf of our development team and they're seeing functionality that many other wallets do not have. I mean, there's really nobody else out. Well, there's a few out there, but they're, they're not they're not incorporating the assets that we're incorporating as quickly as we're incorporating them. I remember when the Exodus wallet first came out, and I thought, oh, this is great. You know, it's a nice wallet, it's standalone. You can go ahead and put most of your assets in there. But then I came across a coin that it didn't have, and I said, oh, well, that's too bad. I really wish I could store all my crypto in one place, but I I couldn't do it with Exodus, so I had to go find another wallet. And before long, I had like another wallet, another wallet, another wallet. I had twelve wallets, and they're all unique, and they're all a pain to man to manage and maintain because some of them were full node wallets. So you had to download the whole blockchain, and it was just a mess to try and keep everything up to date. So eventually, I just kind of 
gave up on that whole idea until Zellcor came along and I said, ooh, now here's a way I can store the majority of my assets. And they have all of the big major assets. If you click on the uh, My Assets page, you'll see within the wallet itself, we've got not just Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum, but we've got a ton of tokens. There are a ton of other Bitcoin-based coins within the wallet itself, including Zcoin and Snow Gem. We've got Ravencoin. It's also another uh, Bitcoin fork. Monero, if you want to go private, although I would highly recommend the Zelle privacy just because ZK Snarks is probably one of the best forms of privacy out there. Then again, you know, there's plenty of other assets out there. And what one of our latest is the Binance chain. So we'll be using that for the Binance DEX, which is incorporated right into Zelle. And that's something that, uh, like I said, I don't think there's many other wallets out there that are offering that level of functionality. So the other exchanges that have picked us up, BitMesh, BKEX, and Citex, they, I think, are seeing something in Zelle that uh, is of great interest. And it's really nice to, to be introduced to these new markets. So we are very excited about that, and we welcome them because the it just gives us an opportunity to grow the Zelle family. Right. And, uh, you know, as, as, as with anything in crypto, it's important that, you know, you do your own research in regards to utilizing these these exchanges. You know, these exchanges actually reached out to us um, and, and wanted to list us. So, uh, you know, there there's there's got to be a little bit of of, uh, you know, taking care of yourself. And, and, and like I said, just doing your due diligence and doing your own research in regards to how to utilize those exchanges and, and make sure that you're protected within those exchanges um, as they are new to you. Um, there, there's probably a market that has utilized these before and feel comfortable with them. Um, I, I never have personally. Uh, but as, as I move forward, if I ever decide to utilize it, I'm definitely going to make sure I totally understand it before I send my funds there. That's a very good point. Yes, we as the Zelle team cannot be responsible for all of the other exchanges that decide to list us. And a lot of this, they may reach out to us and say, we're going to list you. And, and a lot of times the developers have very little that we can say about that. It's open source kind of stuff. You know, it's blockchain. People can list on whatever exchange they want. We don't have the resources to go vet every single little exchange that may be out there. So we're going to definitely encourage people to go ahead, do your own research, make sure that you know where you're sending your crypto. And I would encourage also other users of Zelle, as we see newcomers come and ask questions in our Discord and our Telegram, I would encourage you to go ahead and uh, reach out to them to the best of your ability. If you know the answer to a question, help them out. You know, it, it's, it's, it's so good to see the community. I and mean, this, this community has been phenomenal in terms of support we have we have a great support team ourselves the the mod group is fantastic all the moderators that are working with us they're fantastic but we also can't get to every single request you know so if there are members of the community that are have already set up a node for instance and people are asking questions about how to set up a node because they're newcomers hey welcome them take them under your wing show them the ropes and let's make this network even stronger because hey guys every node we have set up adds to our protection of the chain. So we've got that consensus that's being secured even more. Absolutely. And uh, we have we have a ton of resources as well. Like you said, if, uh, you know, for whatever reason, our mod is not around, uh, we, we do have the Zelle Technologies dot com uh, that kind of has our whole Zelle ecosystem where you can learn a ton. Um, you have Zelle Technologies youtube account to where we have a ton of videos thanks uh, a lot to you goose in terms of more of the recent videos with tutorials and uh you know behind the scenes access to some of our new things coming down the line uh our social media accounts uh you know we got three or four eyes uh pairs of eyes excuse me <laughs> that are that are that are there to help support via via twitter and uh, reddit and um, discord so there's a lot of resources out there so if you find yourself new to the Zelle ecosystem, you know, feel free to kind of dive right on in. Please do. Please join us. We would love to have you as part of that community effort to bring people on board with this wonderful project. I am so stoked that this project is making such great moves and 
coming together. It's really start, starting to take shape when you start to see the DEX in action, of which we definitely have a video on. You can check that out, the, the Binance DEX running in a beta version, and it's working great. So I'm very excited about that. One last thing I, I did want to mention, and th this is like certainly uh, last but not least, but the team is growing, and we're very excited to welcome Jeff and Tarball QC from the Pickaxe Mining Pool. Those guys are the ones responsible for the the setup and the maintain the maintaining of our community pool, and they have been added to the team. Jeffka comes from a background in IT and management, and he's going to be joining the Zell development team as one of the developers. And then Tarball is going to be joining us as uh, an infrastructure member and community moderator. He's got a lot of really good experience with moderating, on, especially on Discord. Uh, he's an excellent coder when it comes to setting up bots and things like that. So he's going to be a great asset to help us automate things. Uh, we are in the process of automating our support system. We want to make a support ticket system so that we're trying to uh, make sure we're able to keep track of who is requesting support as well as what we have said in response so that eventually we'll get a nice FAQ built out of that so people can search it, people can look at it. Uh, or, if, or at the very least, we will be able to search it and look at it uh, just to see if there are common problems that continue to come up and then we'll be able to address them a little more efficiently on the back end in terms of updates. Well, that's very exciting. I, I've kept up with those guys from uh, from the pickaxe, uh, my, my mining from back in the day with those guys. So uh, very exciting to have them on the team. Uh, tremendous assets and we'll continue to help push this project to new heights. Um, but it looks like a perfect time for us to kind of shut this episode down. We have a ton of new things coming down the pipeline. So I look forward to catching up with you next week, Goose, and, and talking more about Zell. Same. Yeah, I can't wait. It's all happening and it's all happening very, very quickly. So until next time. Until next time. Um, and before we close out, just always a reminder, if you're, if you're new to the community, discord.io backslash Zell. We give you access pretty much to the team, our community. I'll spend a lot of time there in Discord, um, as well as you can follow us on social media. Our Twitter account, our main Zell Twitter account is at Zell Cash. And then our Zell Core Twitter account is at Zell underscore core. And uh, feel free to interact with us, to engage with us, ask questions, and we'll be sure to help you out. But until next time, you've been inside the core, powered by Zell. See you guys next week.